Mark Daniels Jr. and today I'm here to talk to you guys about one of my favorite baits and one of my favorite techniques. It's no secret as I travel around this country, one of the best baits to locate bass and catch bass is a rattle trap. And not any lipless crankbait, but the original rattle trap. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys my tackle box straight out of my boat, how I roll on tournament day. So one of the biggest misconceptions with really any bait when fishing is you gotta have all these colors to get the job done. Well, that's not always necessarily true. And more times than not, what you end up doing is overcomplicating things and confusing yourself. So I have about five or six colors that I really, really like that more or less imitate all of the bait fish that I'm gonna encounter as I travel coast to coast. So you got your shads, you got your crawfish, and you have your, your bluegill for the most part. Sure, there's gonna be some alewives up on the northeast. You're gonna encounter some blue crab down in the, some of the uh, coastal estuaries and things along those lines. But day in and day out, those three color combinations are gonna get me covered in pretty much any situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it and show you guys my tackle box. And here it is. For the most part, you can see I got my shads right here. I have a good variety of my crawfish colors over here. And then I have kind of a bluegill hues in here. And you know, and it's mixed up, some purple, some chartreuses, but these are just basic colors that are gonna get me through pretty much any situation that I, that I encounter. Um, now let's talk about the sizes. There's so many different styles of rattle traps. We have um, the original rattle trap. We have the knocking trap, which just has one buckshot, a real low pitch uh, noise that it puts out. And then we have one of my favorite and least talked about, and that's gonna be the stealth trap. It has no rattles whatsoever. So when those bass get a little finicky or you encounter a little clearer water situation and you don't wanna put out as much noise, that's gonna be the choice. Um, then we got sizes. I mean, we have them all the way up to a big one and a half ounce, which generally I'm not gonna use. That's more of a saltwater trap, but we have them all the way down to a little itty bitty dude, which is actually one of my favorites. And it's another one that's not talked about enough. And that's this little guy right here. That's the tiny trap, little tiny dude. And believe it or not, I've caught some of my biggest bass on this little dude right here. Spinning rod, light line, it'll get it done. So real quick, I'll show you guys a couple of my favorites that I usually go to right off the bat when I'm on an unfamiliar body of water. I pick up and that's gonna be the first color that I'm gonna throw. So generally, Springtime, late winter, early, early spring is when the rattle trap really, really shines. And during those months, generally the water's off colored. And I don't know what the reason is, but red really tends to shine in that late winter to early spring time of year when you have some off colored water. So you can see here, I have a few different colors of red, but probably my go-to, my number one, is gonna be this one here. And this one's called Rayburn Red. And it's responsible for several, several 10 plus pound bass that I've caught over the years. Um, you know, again, fisheries that I'm unfamiliar with, I pull up my first time, water's a little off colored. That one's gonna be tied on every time as my crawfish pattern. Moving over to bluegill, which is another mainstay forage for these bass across the country. This is another one that I really like. And it has the purple hue, kind of white side, orange chin, with a little hint of chartreuse there on the back. And that one's called Royale. And this one imitates a bluegill in my opinion, and sometimes a shad. But again, these are colors that are gonna get me covered regardless of the situation. So it may be a shad I wanna imitate, or it may be a bluegill that the fish are feeding on, but this bait right here pretty much covers both of those realms. Um, then you just have your tried and trues that have been catching them since 1964. You know, your granddad probably caught them on them. I know my granddad did. And that's just your old school chrome with the blue back. I mean, this, is, this, this bait right here catches everything. Crappie, bluegill, bass, striped bass, you name it, it gets it done. It's just one of those catch-all colors. And so this is another mainstay in my box. All right, guys, a couple more tips I want to talk to you guys about, and it's going to be on modifying your rattle traps.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.